Hello and good evening and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 21st, 2021. How does it feel everyone, everybody to actually have a president that cares about the people in the office for over 24 hours now? I feel pretty good about it. But on with the stimulus package uh, information they got for you guys. And because we have heard that uh, Pelosi and the House Democrats are eager to basically take care of the stimulus package uh, idea out there. The one that I think Biden has out there for $1.9 trillion. Although we do know that there's a few uh, Republicans in the Senate as well as one Democrat in the Senate that opposes this package because of its price tag, which also makes it unnegotiable, the stimulus package. And Nancy Pelosi confirmed this morning that she and the Democrats will be taking uh, swift actions regarding the COVID relief bill. There's nothing they're planning to um, pass a bill having to do with the vaccinations as well as other COVID-related uh, ailments and send out stimulus, pack, uh, stimulus checks to the people. Well, as soon as I find out more about that, I would be more happy to let you guys know. And when it comes to the Biden executive actions, he did call the CDC to extend the, the um, eviction ban until March 30th, 2021, and he was very successful in that. So to all you people out there, you guys have a house to stay in for at least another couple months. Hopefully by then, we will be able to fix the eviction ban completely and keep you in your houses for a lot longer. Or forever, for that matter. Um, and... Biden will sign more executive orders today, including one for the Defense Production Act to increase the supply of materials for, to distribute the COVID-19 vaccines, as well as increase COVID-19 testing nationwide. He will also do a mandate for wearing masks for airlines and for other forms of interstate travel as well. So you most likely will be having to wear a mask when you drive your car across state lines. I don't see a problem with that at this present time. I mean, you will also order the FEMA to set up 100 vaccination sites nationwide in the next 30 days. Biden will also restore full funding to the National Guard pandemic work. And let us not forget about the Trump impeachment trial. Pelosi said that said this morning that soon she would be taking the next steps to basically present the articles of impeachment to the Senate. At this present time, Mitch McConnell is no longer the Senate lead. Chuck Schumer is. He's a Democrat. So we might get swift actions on impeachment. And this way they can pass the articles of impeachment onto the Senate and get it started on the Senate impeachment trials around Trump. The, no the employment numbers came out today for um, the people unemployment, and 900,000 people filed for unemployment for the very first time last week. Yesterday, yesterday, scientists announced that a new strain of COVID found in South Africa could be resistance to antibody treatment. Because basically, it would be a lot more aggressive, and the treatments that they have out there, the vaccines for antibody treatments, would not work. And here's a list of some of the additional executive orders Biden signed on Wednesday. He extended the student loan for bans until September 30th. He is halting the construction of the wonderful, wonderful Trump Bridge, right? He's also, let me look it up for you. I'll give you a bigger list. How's that? It's always good to have a nice list. I will actually pop up a list that tells you what he has signed so far so you can get guys keep track of it. And as soon as I find out more stuff about uh, President Elect, sorry, President Joe Biden, not Elect Biden no more, he's just President Joe Biden, which is a good thing, and his stimulus proposal for America and our great country, I'll be more than happy to let you guys know. And on with our wonderful, wonderful political news. Isn't that just great? I wish I, I just missed all this mess over. You guys have a wonderful evening. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.